Good luck. I go first. All right, let's do this. All righty then. So one thing I've learned, um, All right, do I have this all correct? So because they have this pawn drop on the knight's head, I can't move the silver up immediately. Instead, I can castle Mino this way. Just ever so calmly, not panicking. And let's build that castle. Uh, wait, this looks familiar because of bishop 5-5. Five five. Um, do I need to do something about bishop 5-5? Five five? I swear that I do, but I don't remember. Oi. Yeah, because like last time they pulled bishop 5-5 five five and then pawn drop here, and it was a disaster. And the only way I can really defend against that is by pushing my center pawn, which leads to complications. Um, so I've effed up this move ordering yet again, but still somehow have built a castle. Um... Right, so moving my silver to the center would doom my silver at this point. Um, what the fuck is this? Oh, I'm sorry, I remember what this is. This does have a name. Alright. Um... What do I do about this? We complete our castle because we're indecisive. And now we be less indecisive. That's what we do. Okay, that's aggressive. I'm going to open my bishop in response to this aggression. Um... They are blitzing out moves like they know this, and I'm not so convinced. Okay, what is that? I don't recognize that move. What is the purpose of this? other than to upset me. So normally I would push this pawn up and then put the gold right behind it. Um, instead, we've taken this a bit of an unorthodox path here. Um, 
but it looks like my silver is poised to climb to the spot right in front of my gold. I don't see anything wrong with that. Still don't see anything wrong with what I've done. Okay, so I've got a bishop. They have a silver. I could get the lance. Um... It strikes me as just so strange. I don't get it. Like, why would they go through all this trouble? I guess their attack is slightly faster, but still, I just don't get it. <sighs> so if I take the lance and I promote, my horse is doing nothing in the corner. Um, presently they're threatening this silver drop or this silver well not really this one but oh they're threatening a pawn drop that's the threat that's why they went through all this trouble is to get the initiative so they could drop this pawn right in front of my gold I guess I step away and then the pawn doesn't do anything. Um, So they have several tempo gaining techniques, but you know, really only this pawn drop followed by a silver drop seems to be of any concern. And even there, I could just pawn drop here right now. Well, then they pawn drop right in front of my bishop. Um, hey, so... Yeah, if I want an initiative, this I have to do this. Right, and then I can sidestep the pawn. And then I could take the silver and the token. And then they repeat the tactic with another pawn. Um, I think I'm okay with that. But this seems even more to the point that, I mean, yes, they have all those fun tactics. 
Um, but I can shut all these tactics down with a horse. This isn't quite enough to win the rook, but it certainly puts the question to, like, what's this rook doing here, and can I break through on this file? All right, so they retreat. Makes sense. Um... My rook needs space. Um, Their rook also needs space. So as unorthodox as this is, we're going to actually surround their rook and uh, give it a very hard time. I'm really not sure how best to continue this mess. Um, it's gotten pretty crazy. My lance is not doing anything anymore. The lance on my king's head could be scary. Uh... Okay, we're going to do this because I need that tempo later. 
uh, and I didn't expect things to come to this. Um, really didn't expect him to do that. Uh, so, what am I supposed to do against this thing? My bishop's just as good as my horse was. I don't need um, a horse to do the work that a bishop can do. So if these generals, or if these promoted pieces become unlinked, then I can take this piece. So this is why he has to keep them linked together. Um... So he's put his bishop on this clumsy square to defend his knight. This is a really strongly concentrated formation. Um. going to jettison the lance because I need to start eroding this castle and that silver is the piece currently holding it up. So if we can get rid of the silver that'll bring us one step closer to bringing down the castle. Of course it's not so simple. Um,
り秒読みに入ります。So, this is going to support us breaking down this. And with this broken down, stuff can start to trend our way again. Oh, that's a clever fork. Um, well, that forks everything. That's really annoying. seems stupid, but we're going to commit to it anyway. Okay, we're not going to hang this for nothing. We're going to get this horse as far as we can away from our king. Now with that resolved, that out of the way. And find some sort of attack here. I don't know if the timing of this is terrible or maybe there was maybe there was a better timing for this move earlier or maybe later but it seems like if the gold steps over then I can take out this silver and if this gold steps forward this castle is super fragmented I don't know how sound that is, but uh, there's just a lot to read out here, 
and my opponent has outpaced me on the clock by a, quite a deal. So I'm forced to move in Biyomi. This is my move, and we'll see how it turns out. I expect gold takes, but gold retreating is possible. Yeah, so I, they could do gold 6-2, but I expect them to just take my token. And even though I claim that I'm looking at a lot of different moves, I don't see a whole ton of candidate moves for me here. Um, like, there's the one obvious candidate here that keeps popping into my mind, but I'm trying to find others and nothing... I'm sorry, there's also this token attacking the silver, or the lance hitting the silver. These are other possibilities, but yeah, I'm not coming up with many ideas here. There are rook drops on this back rank, which are tempting. And I should consider them much more seriously than I am. Yeah, if the gold takes, this rook drop could be a possibility, although the silver... Defends both golds, and then I'd have to sack the rook, silver takes, and hope that I have a mate, which I don't. So, um, yeah. I kept delaying this rook drop, and it's no longer good. Um... I might have a rook drop here to hit the horse and activate my rook but it just makes my rook a target. So, uh, trying to think of light attacks, and it's just not going well. Okay, they did take it. Um, I know I said I expected that, but I'm still surprised somehow. Um, well, what's surprising is that just it strands me without an obvious candidate. This is my most obvious candidate, and I don't like it. So they could move the gold uh, to 5-3. If they take, I have this obvious rook fork. Um, they take it. I'm playing the obvious rook fork. So now there's no longer silver protecting this gold. Whereas previously that's silver 5-2, which would defend a gold on 4-3. Um, and I play this not... Well, I am hoping to win material, aren't I? Um, did not... Well... I guess them moving the gold makes some sense, but I didn't expect that to show up for some reason. Yeah, I expected them to add another pawn or a silver knight or something to the board to try to hold on to the gold where it's at instead of um, moving it. I mean, moving it looks okay, but I do knight drop here, and, like, what's going to happen with these two generals, I wonder. Uh, yes, that defends it. Um, 
30秒やっきやっきやっきやっき40秒うんうん I hear ya So if gold takes, then rook takes promotes. If they do this, uh, then we promote anyway. But it's a fork. So this dance continues of me just threatening one thing after another after another here um, while also not dropping my 5-6 pawn. I still have my knight fork threat here if I should want it and I might want that soon. Right. Okay. Well, that was exciting. Didn't achieve a whole lot. Felt like it achieved a lot more than it actually did achieve. Sanjibyo. Okay, so this is going to encourage either a general to move or um, they're going to place another piece down to secure their king. Um, yeah, I guess a bishop could actually be that piece that secures the king. In which case, I guess dragon takes 5-4, holds this pawn. Right, I'm trying to get them to saturate their pieces in defense and have nothing left with which to attack. Um... So that's the strategy here. This is going to get crazy in just a second. Because they played the predictable move. Yeah, I want your king. So I'll take a piece and a bishop for a rook if it helps me get closer to your king.
30秒チェック I know in general you don't want to check the king because this helps it find squares to escape but here、uh, we need to drive the king one direction or another、um, so having pieces close to the king helps with that objective I missed this last turn. I should have done this last turn. Because they don't have a silver right now. I can't have this、uh, rook or dragon roaming right next to my king. It's not permissible.、Um, Yeah, we can't have this silver protecting your king.、We、need to draw that out a bit. Yeah, this is complicated. What isn't, but this sure is. I think he's offering a bishop trade. Alright, he is offering the bishop trade, in fact. So we have this bishop in hand now. Okay. I would be afraid, except I'm not. Um,
Dude, be crazy. Dude, be super crazy. Placing his rook right here. Maybe this is not the right square for my bishop. Um, maybe my bishop needed to be more aggressively placed or something. I don't know. I mean, to me, this just looks like the craziest sort of madness what my opponent has allowed to happen next to his king um, I was thinking of all kinds of sacrifices and then realized, wait, I can just hit the silver and it has well he he doesn't have to respond in fact but no i'm just threatening to take and promote right in front of his king the silver is the only thing holding together this square right so you could retreat like that and this silver no longer holds that square I mean, what's defending this king, right? We've got this wide open file next to this king that's just like super exposed um. yeah that's no you're right I did see that earlier He does get to interpose at some point here. My attack does slow down. Although my attack is extremely spooky, but um, perhaps not mate. Yonju Yo Kozu Yo, it's 
三四五。Silver takes, king takes. Silver back, king moves somewhere, he gets out of checks. So for my attack to continue, this has to be the next move. I mean, no, I forgot. I could push this pawn. Pushing the pawn is another option. I should have examined that fully before committing to this. Even though this looks like the most probable course of success, I should have uh, examined this pawn push more thoroughly than I did. Um, Right. If I take this, I don't see a mate there. Silver takes here, king takes, pawn push, king takes, and he escapes. Um, This way he just blocks on this freaking square. And I'm not happy. This is what I had read. check king takes gold check king back it's complicated I think this is right. Either way, it's interesting. Whether or not this was accurate the entire way through, boy, it was an interesting way to play. Good game. 
Alright, so this is the teaching ladder game, uh, which means after the game we get to review and do commentary. Um, yeah, this was quite an adventure. Um, just lots and lots of sacrifices. <laughs> Our games are always exciting. Oh, we forgot the bishop works at 7-5. Uh, yeah, this uh, endgame was tricky. <sighs> yeah, for a minute there it looked like the king was escaping. Um, maybe the king was escaping with best play, I'm not really sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, the one next to my king? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy here. Or 9-3. 9-3. Nine, so, I forget a long time ago I had... Yeah, this... Yeah, this one. This looked quite unusual, but so did the entire position. Uh, I saw you had a bishop you uh, would like to place there. Yeah. So, I'm not sure if this is the right square for it, but at the time it felt right. Um, um. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, silver. Yeah, I wonder how uh, you defend here. At some point, you do need to stop attacking and start defending. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, there's got to be a defense here, right? <laughs> uh, gosh, what do we even do? So, my attack's not, um, I think so, um, I don't think my attack is too serious right now, but I'm not really sure. Um, I have difficulty saying, yeah, you need to defend, buddy. We've had some pretty aggressive games thus far. Um, yeah, and I, like, how the heck do I even attack after this? I don't know. Other than playing the room here and trying to trick my opponent, um, it's going to be pretty hard. Oh, wait, well, I guess I have this, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, it was a good resource. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot. Um, oops. Yeah. Yeah, my bishop drop was tricky. Uh, really forces you to stop and think. 
which I mean you did, but probably needed to do just a little bit more. Um, like this is a very hard fought game, so I put that sneaky bishop drop down there. Um, not out of any hope of doing anything sneaky, but just out of desperation. I really needed my silver for an attack. Thanks, uh, likewise. Um, let's see. I don't remember if there's anything else to look at. Um, I need to learn this more. Oh, wait. Now, this is just Ishida. Yeah, I still need to figure it out, um, because again, I think I effed this up. Um, wait, no, wait, I actually have this here, never mind. Um... Yes, I guess I'm fine. It's just super sharp. So it would behoove me to actually know it, not just fake it um, the whole time. Oh, this is actually resourceful. Oh. I forgot that this is actually a defensive move too, covering these squares. Um, otherwise this bishop could get annoy annoying. Otherwise your pawn and bishop might overrun me. Um, this, oh, uh, I guess he's trying to show me something. I don't know exactly what. So yeah, I accidentally timed this exactly when I needed to. Um, which is super convenient for me. <laughs> I suppose... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. It's a very quick castle. Um, so it could work. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this bishop sack. That was special. So I considered a pawn drop, uh, this thing, but thought I might not need it. Um, maybe this would have been much safer. Just put the entire bishop sacrifice into question. Yeah, maybe I should have calmed down a little bit and played this. Um, since I really don't see how he continues here. Somehow I thought he had something in hand he clearly does not have in hand. Um, okay. Yeah, that's an attacking move. I guess I go up here or something? I don't know. Who can say? Looks like I'm just up a solid bishop here and don't have to worry about getting mated anytime soon. 
Yeah, I got quite excited by it. Um, in hindsight, uh, I should defend too. <laughs> I drop my pawn at 8-4 like that. Like, his and the, his key idea of what he's been planning with that bishop sack is just not there anymore. So, even though he's got quite a few pieces actively posted, none of them can strike me immediately. <laughs> yeah... That's unfortunate, since I really uh, liked your attack. It's just, it's just a bit too heavy. So, um, but yeah, this seems to stop it cold. Huh. It's really creative. So you think that after I watched a YouTube video about effective attacks and effective defenses, which covers this pawn eight four attacking idea, I could have found the pawn eight four defense or pawn eight two defensive idea in my game. No, that is eight four. Yeah. Oh well. Didn't find it this time. Okay, thanks for the game. Have a nice holiday. Um, it was last weekend, but it's the thought that counts. <laughs> uh, see ya. Alright, so yeah. Um, holidays are pretty cool. Is there anything else to reduce? I obviously whiffed super hard on, like, underestimating this idea. Somehow I thought having the lance and dropping the lance here seemed to make me much safer but really the thing that would have made this position a thousand times safer would have been this and there's just no attack it's amazing with like two golds and a silver in this vicinity the thing that this position really needs for my castle to become solid is none of those it's a pawn no, I'm sorry. With two golds, a silver, a bishop, and a rook, all pointing at this section of the board, the thing that I need for my castle to become solid is an additional pawn. And then he could play whatever, like, okay, yes, I was concerned he might do this. I don't need to be so concerned. Um, for one thing, if I am concerned, okay, I hit his promoted knight. Uh, well, that's not so simple, is it? I was gonna say this way I take this pawn and all's clear. Shogi is not so simple. Let's see, this pawn drop is what flustered me. I guess I still have this. And um, now if they hit my bishop, I can promote like this. Or that's not a promotion, but you get the idea. Uh, and they're not going to sacrifice here. This could be a fork, but then I win two pieces for a bishop. So, yeah, that would have been much, much, much safer than what I did. Uh, it's good that I brought the horse back. And this was okay. I don't know. Shogi's hard, man. So, like, I considered this, and I thought, you know, that's not so bright. Um, obviously, I saw if this push, they do that, and this is no fun. Um, so this did cross my mind. Um... Then I realized, like, my pieces are just waiting their turn to eventually attack someday. Didn't really want that to be um, the fate of my pieces, so that's why I played this aggressive thing. 
Um, and I didn't want to see our rook crash on my back rank because that would actually be painful. So that's why I sacked the horse to get some activity. Oh, I don't actually know if they had to retreat here. Yeah, I guess the rest of this game is one for the engines to figure out, but I missed the key idea of pawn drop 8-4, which, uh, which have simplified everything tremendously. So, uh, yeah, thanks very much to Rodriguez for this exciting game, especially this ending. Oh my goodness, three silvers, two knights, a lance, and a bishop, and all these pawns in hand, and there's not a thing they can do. You don't see that every day. Welcome to Shogi. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.